Hello everyone, you are welcome back to Bioscience Class channel. Today is another lecture, and this is if this is your first time watching this video. Uh, we are studying lipid biochemistry, so we've been talking about lipids, their classification, and we said we have steroid, that steroids, and we are talking about their classification under steroid. So we talked about our last video. We talked about um cholesterol and lipoproteins so today we are going to talk about anabolic steroids and sex hormones so they are also a class and our steroid and also steroid they are made up of terpenoids that they are terpenoid lipids so they are made up of isoprene units so we've talked about all these terminologies isoprene units so they are all in the video in this channel below so if this is your first time watching this channel make sure you subscribe to this channel it's the bioscience class channel all topics in biochemistry can get it from this channel so today we are going to talk about anabolic steroids anabolic steroids are involved in muscle building so um, athletes and other um, sporting activities they are athletes they take this anabolic steroid in order to build their muscles that is they increase um muscle mass and decrease what body fat so when you see um we can see that all those that uh that's gymming they take these um pills we have anabolic steroids so they are drugs that people take in to uh, increase what their body mass so they increase their muscle mass and decrease fat in the body we also have androgenics so these androgenics are related to these anabolic steroids they are also used to increase the male sex characteristics so they are also used to increase what um muscle mass so anabolic steroids they are drugs that help the growth and repair of what muscle tissues so they are synthetic hormones so they are taken into the body they are artificially made so they are taken into the body that initiates the male sex hormones so the sex hormones in the body, um, this anabolic steroids and the androgens, when taken into the body, initiates these male sex hormones, especially um, testosterone. Okay, so this is a male sex hormone, and it's used in de developing the male sex um, characteristics. So we have anabolic steroid. We have some legitimate legitimate medical uses of it. So. When you go to the sporting activities side, they use it a lot, but they have a limit that if you take, you break the rules and regulations of the game. So all those bodybuilders and the athletes take this anabolic steroid to increase their body mass. So they include for treating of what hormonal issues in puberty. So there are some people that uh, they cannot grow or they cannot increase in muscle mass so they take in these anabolic steroids or these anabolic hormones in order to increase their sex um characteristics so either male or female they take they have females they have their estrogen their extra diol estrogens and extra oh so they take those in order to help build their muscle so it's also used in treating hormonal issues in puberty all right and it's also used to treat muscle loss so it's used to treat muscle loss so there are some people that they considerably was increasing weight so they can take in these anabolic steroids uh to increase what their muscle loss so this muscle loss is caused by other diseases such as cancer and AIDS so those with HIV AIDS you can see they have a loss of what muscles so they take in anabolic steroids to increase their muscle mass okay so we have uh steroids we have ho sex hormones so this is uh, the sex hormones sex hormones are made in the gonads right so that's where sex hormones are what developed and are produced so they are made they are made in the gonads and they control what growth and development of reproductive organs. So for the females, we have estrogen, we have estradiol, which helps control the menstrual cycle of what 
the female reproductive system okay so we also have estrogens and this causes um growth of the uterus lining and ripening of the what the ovum all right so the womb ripening of the womb and the uterus is caused by um, a hormone called estrogen estrogen so this estrogen helps the female to grow their uterus all right for the males we also have testosterone and this stimulates sperm production and development of male reproductive organ so this is the structure of these sex hormones we have estrogen we have extra diol and we have extra o so these are all steroids as you can see over here we have the steroid nucleus over here that we talked about in our last two videos so if you don't know what steroid nucleus is you can go back to this the channel and check a video called um steroid so in the beginning we talked about this steroid nucleus so we have for estrone and extra diol so the difference in functional groups account for the difference between these hormones as you can see over here we have oh here we have oh group here we have oh group here that's the functional group but the substituent the size chain we also have uh oh here but we have two oh groups here that are anti par all right that are anti so we also have all right a double bonded to oxygen that's a carbonyl group over here but we have hydro oxyl group and we have two hydroxyl groups so that accounts the difference between these two these three sex hormones all right so that's the end of this video so if you don't understand just rewind the video to get the understanding if this is your first time watching this channel make sure you subscribe to this channel it's a bioscience class we teach every topic in biochemistry thanks for watching this video if you have any comments make sure you leave it in the comment section you will attend to it and address all your problems have a nice day and thank you for watching this video. Thank you very much.